Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for part 4 of The Quarry. I've really loved this series so far. I guess for you guys, it's kind of like TV show episodes, because you get an episode that's roughly an hour, an hour and ten minutes in length, and you get to watch it, and then you're waiting for the next part to find out what happens next. And of course, because this game is like a horror movie that we interact with, and you know, it's all about the choices we make, who lives, who dies, it's kind of like an interactive TV show. At least on my end. For you, you just get to watch and see if I make the right choices or not. So far, it's been really exciting, really fun, and we're going to dive back in to see what happens in the story next. I don't want to waste any of your time. Once again, if you're interested in the story of this game, you really need to have watched the previous episodes. But if you just want to dive straight into this one, then that's fine. You'll just have to pick up the story as we go. So yeah, let's dive back in and continue. I think we're into chapter five now. Chapter five, white noise. Yeah. So we're going to the broadcast station, of course, to try and contact the police because the phone line went dead in the cabin. That's what happened at the end of the last episode. I think Ryan and Dylan went off to find the broadcast station. Abby, Nick, and Caitlin have stayed in the cabin, and Emma just escaped a monster. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. They're a nice little couple, these two. Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? He doesn't look too hot, does he? Grateful I'm okay or compassionate, how are you? I'm gonna be compassionate. How are you holding up? I'm... Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. He seems to have this kind of infection on his leg, of course, as well, if you guys remember that. So hopefully we don't have to amputate the leg after all. Cause they talked about that in the right. last episode. They're off to find a radio or something. What's with the um? The... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Oh no, what's happening? Wait, is something in the building? Speak up. Um, I think we should be quiet, guys. It might be the monster. Let's be quiet. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. Reassuring we'll be fine, just be careful. Don't go, it's dangerous. Um, I'll be reassuring. Go on. We'll be fine, just... Be careful. Stay alert. <sighs> Hopefully, I mean, splitting up's never a good idea, especially in these horror movie type games. <laughs> you know, when someone goes away, they usually get killed or picked off, but hopefully we have made the right choice here. I mean, they can't really defend themselves now, so if that monster's in their building and it's gonna smell their blood, then uh, they're pretty doomed. But we'll see what happens. Caitlin's got a shotgun. Off she goes to find the monster. And she was a good shot with that gun, if you guys remember. A few episodes back, she showed us just how good she was with the gun. Wait, is it not loaded? Please say that's loaded. Because if, <laughs> if they've given her an empty gun, then that's going to be really bad. Man, this is not good. Maybe it's just one of the guys, right? Maybe? Let's be optimistic. Oh no. It's coming down the chimney. It's gonna like crawl out from the chimney, guys. I can hear something crackling in my ear. I don't know what that is. She's just kind of edging up the stairs. Come on, show yourself to us. Oh, it's the dude. Now, I don't know if this guy is dangerous or not. He seems like he helped us in the last episode. Like, these hunters seem like they're hunting the monster and not actually hunting us. But at the same time, he might, he might be trying to get us. I just had to hide then. <laughs> I almost didn't press that in time because I wasn't holding the controller with two hands. 
He hasn't seen us. We did actually have a uh, premonition where Nick actually grabs his wound in the last episode because we found the tarot card, gave it to the mystic. So that's probably what we have to do if he encounters Nick. Because maybe he'll try and kill Nick because Nick's got the infection. But I don't know about how Caitlyn's meant to face off against him. No sign of him. When you find them, blood them. And keep me both blood them, yeah. They pour the blood over over people to protect them from the monsters, I think. Um, oh. Quickly. That was close. We almost fell down the stairs. Yeah, I don't exactly know what's going on. I'm just jumping to conclusions based on what we've seen. Hold breath, hold breath, hold breath, hold breath. How is he not seeing us in the shadows? <laughs> like, I can see her really obviously there. Maybe his eyesight's not the best. Is he gone? We haven't got a lot of time here. I think he's gone. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh no! What the heck? Um, what do we do? Down. Oh fuck! He's got. Did he just take the gun off us? He literally took it off without any kind of struggle. Okay, maybe Caitlyn shouldn't have had the gun after all. So we're unarmed now, and that guy's in the house. This isn't good. Hey, okay, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like. Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're going to see each other, you know? Oh, sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? <laughs> Insecure. I'm pouring my heart out here. All we can say, don't worry about Caitlyn. Let's be confident. Hey, don't worry about Caitlyn. She's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. We have to play our cards just right in this game, you know? Get through the night. Get on the right side of people. Keep those relationships going. Stay alive. So we can be intrigued. I thought things would go further or bitter. You're hard to read. I'll be intrigued. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... Kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you... Want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. What? Sorry. Why would you have reacted like I just that? Mean, you went full on incel mode. Of course I wanted <laughs> it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um. I, this isn't the time for all this kind of stuff. You know, there's yeah, a time and place. I, I guess. But. Not when you're, like, lying on a bed dying, potentially. You're just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> Alright. What are we going to do now? The guy's going to come for us, surely, right? Oh, Caitlin's rushing about. We've died. We've died. It's okay. I've got this. No, you haven't got this. Just... Yeah, get under the bed, man. Hide. You're wounded. You're in no fit state to be doing anything. Look, he's just walking. He doesn't even care. He's just ambling along. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Hide or run. I reckon... Run. Go. Go, 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 go. Got you, girl. No. He's gonna blood her. <laughs> going to pull the blood over her. Yeah, you got to grab the wound. Oh, to the right. Dodge him. Oh, you're mine. She's mine. There we go, we did it. We grabbed the wound. Just like we were foretold to do in the Mystic's, um, in the Mystic's crystal ball in the last episode. Oh, he's getting real, real strength. Because that wasn't actually the wound, that was a neck he grabbed. So he's getting strength from his wound, from that monster. He's probably turning into one of the monsters, I bet. Because his face was all, like, infected then as well, wasn't it? He had, little, like, veins growing up and stuff. So the radio Interesting. Like, had, like, an actual radio? I thought it was just, like, for your morning announcements. 
Oh yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything, and you know, nowadays. Everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. Hey, we can so walk is, again. Is that nice. Like that you so we're controlling to Dylan now. Camp radio? No, like uh, DJ. Oh, we're sitting in the trees though. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but. We see anything? I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. I don't see anything, guys. Let's just keep heading forward. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Ooh, what's that? Uh, it's like a cabin you or something. Seem like a science guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um... Huh? Maybe there's one of those tarot cards somewhere around here as well that we can collect. You know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> that's what he is. Uh, that's it's a little true. Harsh, he's annoying, no? man, that guy. Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit, by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer this um, Dylan, I he's like more down Dylan to earth, Dylan. you know? He's more well, normal. it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. Not always trying to get on Ryan people's Ryan. nerves. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Ryan's become like a badass with his gun. You know, <laughs> he's sort of like evolved from like this kind of nerdy podcast guy into this like badass action hero, rocking the shotgun, like Ash from Evil Dead or something. I mean, maybe not quite that badass, but he's getting there. You know, look at this. So. Look at the red light over there on a the cliff face. I actually want to explore here. What's this over here? It looks like they're sitting on the ground. Is this a note? Looks like it. Maybe a clue or something. It's a letter. Ooh. Let's have a look. Chris Hackett has written a note to the camp nurse suggesting she take the day off early. Surely that's a little irresponsible when kids are still around. Cool, okay, so that's a bit of information for that's us. That's why Nurse Kelly went home, really. Nice, we got a clue there. Let's keep looking around, just see if there's maybe one of those tarot cards or anything like that. So I'll just have a quick runabout, guys. Don't think there's anything else here. Ooh. What the heck was that? That was a monster, guys. Just ran past us. Oh, take the devil. Yes, we got one. We got a tarot card, guys. Look. The devil. The devil without restriction, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demons unleashed. Each of us have one, even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. So there we are. We've got another card there. Three of 22. We haven't found too many. So we can head on now towards our designated destination, which is over here, I believe. It's pretty creepy though, especially as we know that monsters in the area now just running past us. This is the broadcast tower, isn't it? Well, the broadcast cabin, I should say. So hopefully we can find the radio and call for help now. All good? Uncertain or confident? I'm all good. I'll say all good. All good? Right, let's go inside. Get the police on the way. Although I don't really trust the police, obviously the police in this game, they're trying to cover all this stuff up. We saw uh, in episode one that they're a little bit corrupt, you know? Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? 
Guys, look at the chainsaw. Okay, it's got groovy well, on it. Evil Dead here, reference. It was barely working. I just spat my water well, out there. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards. You can tell I'm a horror geek. But I've been putting in a lot of TLC. When okay. you get excited so by okay. a chainsaw. Let me get this Referencing the Evil Dead. Alright. Anyway, let's uh, hook into this radio. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's... Mr. H wanted more storage, so... It's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so... I think the range is about... a mile. That's not really good. Um... I'll be interested. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. The heck is that? An antenna or something? It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but. Well, I mean, it it's is better than nothing, is. isn't it? Yeah. You can call for help, put out an SOS. So what should I say? Uh, just like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Just say one of your our friends have been injured and they're dying. Oh, how's it going out there? This is uh, w uh, we need help. This is uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack. Some stuff bad here. We need your help. Great. Uh, there is Great a job swarm he's doing of here. bears, and they are everywhere. And there's these hunters too, and they seem to be shooting at. Ryan's got to take over. Us, this is terrible. Um, which is not good. And a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help. So please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do. So please, uh, come help us. SOS. Uh, this is uh, an emergency. S save our ship. Come on down. Please help us. That was like the worst SOS yeah, message ever. Good? Was that swarm of bears? Yeah, like who's gonna believe yeah. that? Just say Horde that somebody's bears. injured our friend. There's yeah, been I've an heard attack. Of bears. What? Oh my god. All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah. back. Okay, yeah. Good I'm luck with that. Keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Do we get to explore now as Ryan? Oh, what's he seen? <gasps> the monster! I bet that's another human that's, like, transformed, isn't it? That's probably what Nick's gonna turn into if we're not... If we don't save him in time, you know? He's just kind of okay. observing it casually, what the hell? Wait, did he, did he say large? I don't know, hold on. Oh no, we just gave away our location. Reassuring, they might not mean us. That's totally us, let's be concerned. Holy shit, they're talking about us. It's alright, just calm down. How? Because we just told them! On the fucking radio! Fuck! It's alright man, chill. Maybe with Dylan, we have to kind of baby him a little bit. Because he panics hand, a lot, doesn't he? We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. But there's a monster outside as well. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlyn and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Did he not just see that there's a monster outside? Like, I'm confused, because I saw the monster. No! 
Oh I don't understand. Why did you let him go out? Why didn't you tell me that there's something out there? Um. What the hell? Apologetic, I guess. I, I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Okay, what can we do? We've got to think this through. Do we just shoot it as it comes through the door? Is that what? Is that the best idea? I don't know. I wouldn't go outside. Uh, Ryan? It's above us. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We've got a gun. Is it a bear? I don't think That's not a bear, dude. I hope one of them doesn't get killed now. Have we made the wrong choice? I don't know. I thought I was making the right choices. Get ready. Got the shotgun. Anything comes through, we shoot it. Oh, oh, it's fair. Oh, it's going down. It's going down that way. Huh. What was that? What is that? Are there multiples? It sounds like there's more than one. Or is it the hunters coming along now? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick. Oh no, it's They're our friends! Oh shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, We're gonna have to make a decision here, aren't we? Yeah. Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Uh, oh! Fuck, no. Oh shit. Okay, this isn't good. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get in get, get into a cabin now. Go! Go! We're gonna be like able to see oh, each other from across dude. the uh, yard there, aren't we? But we're gonna be trapped in separate cabins. This is uh, pretty bad. Path updated. Oh, so we chose to. We must have made a decision that sent them on this this course, I guess, a minute ago. What it's alright. It's alright. So desperate. Anything. We can do aggressive. We've got to kill it. Aggressive. I'm gonna kill the we thing. We gotta kill it. That's not a normal animal, man. Sometimes you got to take matters into your own I don't hands. Think a gun's gonna cut it. I think it can be killed because the policeman shot it, didn't he? I'll be confident. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know, man. I just don't think it's a good idea to go running out guns blazing against some random ass super animal. Well, what the hell else can we do? Well, if it's got hearing, like a like a dog, maybe. Uh, I mean, we could we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max. That's and, a good idea. That's I the mean, first good the idea that Dylan's had. Yeah, blast its ears out with um, okay, like a feedback fine. loop. Let's do it. That sounds good. I think we made the right choices there because if we hadn't been so confident to go out, he might not have fought that up. You know, as like a last ditch effort. Okay. Come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Come on, play that music or that sound. Take a breath, I'll be calm. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. We okay. gotta we gotta kinda of baby Dylan, as I said before, because he panics if we get aggressive with him. Ooh, it's coming. Keep going, Dylan, oh, go on. Crap. I pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. We got this. Let's load up. Do it now. Go quickly. Go, go, go. Come on, man. Put put another box there if you need it. Oh no! Oh crap! Wow. Okay. I think he's dead. Okay, he's been bitten. So he's probably going to transform as well now. Um, okay, just hang on. We'll cut it off if that's what he wants. Fuck! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, the chainsaw! Hang on, hang on. The chainsaw, guys, we've got to use a chainsaw, man. Fuck. The 
chainsaw's gonna be loud though. I'm gonna go with a chainsaw. It's gonna be like sure? Evil Dead style. Yes, fucking do it. Fucking do it. Oh no, this is insane. What the hell? Oh, that is grim. That is grim. Is he gonna even survive that? Wow. Okay, that was dark. And that escalated very quickly. We got an achievement called just a flesh wound as well. The wire, <laughs> Steam get the achievement. Wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. The, the, yeah, get, get the wire. You need to tie plug that plug wound off as well, dude. Thing. You just cut through veins there. Uh, keep pressure on. Uh. I love how his hand just got bitten and he goes, yeah, get the wire now. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. He's handling that wound very well. At least we got the sound going. Off it goes. If that was me, I think I'd either be passed out or screaming. Oh, we blew the speaker. <laughs> Just had my hand cough. I did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> this has been another really action-packed episode, and an insane one at that. Hopefully Dylan's gonna survive, though. Oh, right. oh fuck, my hand. Right, right. Yeah, you've just lost your hand, dude. Just hold on. We'll get your prosthetic one. Why'd you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. I think it might actually be a good idea, though, because it won't spread like he says now, hopefully. So he shouldn't turn into a monster, but obviously he's lost his hand, which kind of is a big deal. Um, We're okay for now, I'll be reassuring. I think we're okay for now. Well, that's always a bad thing to say in these kind of things as well. Chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. So far, everybody's still alive, which is good, and we're about halfway through the game, I think. What the hell was going on? At oh my god! Dylan, what happened? Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean... I'm not, um... But it's it doesn't doesn't hurt. Okay, That's you're weird. in shock. Holy fucking shit! Uh, Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... Oh, the hunters have arrived. Your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's that? Who's there? It's like a new character. Who was she? Should we follow her? <sighs> she has like an eye patch, like a uh, solid snake or something. Ah, oh, shit, Dylan, what is that? Uh, yeah, what is that? <gasps> it's like a dead oh woman. God. Interesting. So we had the new character, it was like a female huntress with an eye patch, and now we've got a body floating in the pool. I don't know who that body belongs to. Maybe the girl that died in the first episode, I'm not sure. I wonder who we'll catch up with next. I want to see how Emma's doing and I want to see how Jacob's doing next. Of course, we're back with a mystic first foe in the hut. And we found one of the tarot cards, so we should oh, you're back. be able to uh, like that's one less learn some more clues world. about the world. Let's take a look once more. Yes, let's do that. The devil card. The devil. Without restrictions, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demons unleashed. Each of us have one. Even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? Yeah, show me some more. Let's do it. See more. Here we go, the all-seeing eye. So... Oh. What the heck? Wait, did that just show Abby dying? We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets too. 
worth remembering that. Does that mean if I pick up the plank of wood, Abby dies? So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. I don't know what I was trying to tell us. I feel like that means if we pick up the plank of wood to attack that monster with Abby, she'll die, so we shouldn't pick up the wood. But I'm not sure. Anyway, we've reached the next chapter, chapter six, Prayers by Night. And we're back Emma! with Jacob, searching for Emma. Jesus Christ. Well, he still hasn't got clothes either. Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Jacob! That's not, that's not a Have good I sign. And that did not sound like Emma, my dude. Not at all. It sounded more like the hag of Hackett's Quarry they keep talking about. I want to see if there's any tarot cards around here. I don't think there are. Let's go. Towards the creepy whisper in our ear. Never a good sign. But, you know, I'm not given much choice here. I can't just, like, walk the other way. The game's like, no, you'll go this way, actually. We've got something here, though. What's that? Yes. I want to fall off this. I wonder if that's like a premonition. Are we going to fall down in a minute? Let's have a look around. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? There's something here. Well, that bodes ill. Fucking hell. What was that? Just like a footprint? I didn't even see properly. It's very dark, this game. I always have to brighten this game when I'm editing because it's so dark. What is that, a camera? I think that's a camera, right? Memory card. Ooh, let's have a look. Memory card from a broken and dirty camera lost in the woods. There might be some evidence on this. Evidence collection, 4 out of 10. Seems like we've only missed two pieces of evidence so far. If they are in order, that is. Huh. Maybe there's something on here. Maybe so. We'll take it with us. Right, let's see if we can find Emma. Although, I don't think that was it. Emma was over there, actually, wasn't she? We're like at that strange shack. We actually escaped the monster in the last episode as Emma, so... Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to find her this way. Although she did actually crawl ashore, I think. On this island, maybe. So we might find her. Um, I'm just going to go this way. Ah, yes. There we go. It was worth it. We got the Justice card. Let's have a quick look at that. Okay, so the Justice card, it says, An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything, and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. Hmm. Something to do with choice there. Okay. We're getting mixed messages from this whisper. It's like, this way, run! <laughs> Which, make up your mind, you know? I don't know what it's trying to tell us. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's Emma. Good. <laughs> oh, God, Emma. Ah, Jesus Christ. <sighs> um, I'll say I'm glad to see you. Oh, my God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh. oh. Wow. Christ. Ah. You left me back there, you asshole. Oh, God, Emma, come on. Oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, <laughs> I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... 
Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself. You oh, know? Don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. Yeah, they right. you need to get You're off right. this and idea this that everything's a bear. The, the you know? Hunters <laughs> running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. I'll just say I'm trying to keep us alive. We don't always have to be nice every time. Hey, I'm trying to keep us alive. I've been doing pretty good by myself. What? I don't need you to rescue me. I'm not going to suddenly fall in love with you just because you're my knight in shining armor. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you set this all up. Oh my god, what? I don't know if we picked the right choice there. They seem to be on really bad terms now suddenly. Sometimes you got to, you know, be a bit more defensive in this game mode. Oh, okay. Well, we're off. <laughs> we're off. I hope these two work it out because I think... Jacob does actually really like Emma, you know? And I think she likes him as well. They're just both very stubborn people. Wow, look at that thing, man. It's like a it's kinda of like Gollum crossed with a werewolf. Ah! Dodge it, dodge it! No! Wait, is he gonna leave her? He just left her. Um Let's run. Go, go, go. Wow, are we being shot at now? Wait, what's happening? Oh, traps are everywhere. Alright, this is bad. Hey, maybe the monster can be snared in a trap. We can trick it. Oh, fuck. You oh, idiot! Shit! Oh. Oh. Uh. Well, that's what you get for leaving Emma behind, man. Pull free or pry open. Uh, pry open. Never pull your leg like, free from one of those things. Oh, fuck! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh, shit! Oh. They're all getting like really oh. bad wounds in this episode. Oh. Dylan lost his hand. Now we've kind of had our foot like stuck in a bear trap. That's Jacob. Look, you could. Oh. Okay, the old guy has captured us. We're back with Caitlin now in the cabins. We'll find out what this body's all about. Yeah. So who is that? It's a young woman of some kind. I'm wondering if that's Laura. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Compassionate, you okay, rational, should we do something? I'll, I'll be compassionate at this point. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. Oh, Angel's Kaylee. Daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh, man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. No, he's turning. Intervene. Let's intervene. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Damn. No. This is really weird. We're gonna have to take care of Nick. Nick He's doomed, you... I think. I don't want to taste you. Remember, hey. we saw the vision of Abby dying, so we need to make sure uh, we don't Nick, let her die. What the hell? Uh, get off! Uh, watch out! I said get off! Ooh, in the water. <laughs> Give him a bath. He needs one. Nick. Although that water's full of blood, so. Oh. Doesn't like the water. Are you okay? I just wanted him to stop. Just throw him some soap, it's fine. Dude. Help Nick comfort Abby. Uh 
I'm gonna come for Abby. I'm not gonna help Nick. I think he's doomed. Hey, hey. It's okay. I'm okay. I got you. I got you. Uh. Uh. What did I do? Abby appreciates your support. I, I don't know. He's turning. So cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. I think it happens in the pool house, the attack from that crystal ball we saw. So, man, we're going to be careful here. Shh. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. There's no saving him at this point, I don't think. Ah. Quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding, but you need to see a doctor. I don't get how that wouldn't have bled when it's just been cut with a chainsaw and it's not being like cauterized or anything. This is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police. Yeah, dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like, photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Okay, so we're playing as Abby again. We're in control. Sometimes, guys, I might go quiet for long periods of time, but it's just because I want to let you listen to a lot of the story, you know. I don't want to just talk over it all the time, so. I try and interject a bit of commentary here where, it, you know, here and there where it makes sense, but not constantly. I'm going to try and find another one of those tarot cards, so let's just check around everywhere. And this is really dark, by the way. I literally cannot see what I'm doing at all. We need to find something for Nick. Let's have a look this way, then. There might be some clues in uh, some of these rooms as well. Like something that we can use to show the police as evidence. So I'm just going to search everything. Anything in here? Oh, yeah, look, the moon card. Tarot found the moon. So the moon says, how poignant. Tonight of all nights to harness your fear and anxiety and to turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Interesting. There we go then. And that's two tarot cards on this night actually. What's in here? Ooh, that's spooky. This spooky place was drawing. So different like 12 hours ago. Is that going to be the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It surely is, right? I can't remember what we needed to find for Nick. Was it like a towel for him or something? Something here. I wonder where Caleb is. Clue discovered campus photo. There you go. That's Caleb. And Kaylee has been killed. Do we just go over and speak to Nick, see how he's doing? I think that's maybe what we want to do, right? Here. That better? Thanks. Hey. He's not looking in good shape. We needed to bring that chainsaw with us. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is... Real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around. Like, he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. I don't think that's rabies. <laughs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? 
Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> it's like the water is burning yeah. his skin or something. I think he's going to change though, right? Like, he's right on the brink of transformation now. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. He's going to attack us. I know it. Get back. Like me. Um... I'll be calm. Actually, I'll be aggressive. I don't know what's going on with you right now, but I like the old Nick better. I knew it. I knew it. You don't like me at all, do you? That's not what I said. Why won't you tell me the truth? I am telling you the truth. Nick is getting agitated. Maybe I should have calmed him. I didn't want to get too close to him. Poor, pathetic little Abby, ready to throw herself at the first guy that came along. Damn, that's harsh. Easy pickings. Right off the bone. This isn't All right, you. Nick. I mean, this, Stop being a this douche. This isn't you. I... No. No. Wow. Okay. Whoa, Abby. He is very strong. Abby, everything okay? Holy He's shit. transforming into that monster, isn't he? Come on, we gotta get out of here. Oh, she looks really hurt as well. <laughs> She's like about to cry or something. Okay, what do we do? Is she gonna go for the gun? Yeah, she's going for the gun. We have to shoot him. Um, oh god, okay. Half chosen, we shot him. I don't know if that was the right move or not, but... Oh no! He's transforming. Oh god, he's, he's changed. He's changed. No, he's coming. Wait, where's he going? Oh, he's just run away. Okay, so Abby didn't die, but Nick has now transformed into one of those beasts. Wow, okay. That's the end of Nick, then I guess we, we couldn't save Nick, but we saved Abby. That's kind of cool. So yeah, like, we've kept everybody alive apart from uh, Nick so far, and he's become a monster. Emma's still okay, which is good. She just fell into the water. She's not going to be very happy with Jacob, though, because he kind of just abandoned her like a, like a wimp, you know? The fuck is a Okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go... Are we going to have to make a decision? No, she chooses for us. I, I thought maybe then the game would let us like pick where we go next. I don't think it will. We've got to go off into the woods by ourselves as Emma. Hopefully we can reunite with our friends before the end of this episode. And then, you know, it'll be a good place to finish, I think. Because quite a lot has happened in today's episode. <gasps> Wait, we've got something in the trees. Gotta get out of here. Yeah, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. No time to dilly-dally. Gotta keep heading forward. The phone is not lighting our way very well. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Check all corners, the whole perimeter. Wait, we'll go up here. We'll go up the side, up these steps. I don't know which route is safest, but I'm going to take the high ground. Because taking the low ground, you know, seems to land people in trouble, generally. If you've got a vantage point up high, you're generally better. Uh, we're going through the woods. Where was the lodge for? I don't remember. I can't even see any signage for it. Oh, what's this? Wait, is that, like an, is that a trap? 
Okay, so we won't go that way then. Because we don't want to get snared. Let's check the floor. Make sure there's no more traps. Kind of nervous now. Now we know there can be traps out there. Which way do we want to head? Maybe up this way? Anyone out there? It's kind of spoopy. <laughs> like, imagine being in the woods at night when you know stuff's out there. And you've only got the phone lights to light your way. Yeah, that would be horrible. Wait, is this a lodge we arrived? There's the hunters. I actually no. think there might be good guys, so I'm not too worried about them. But I'm not sure. Oh, they've caught one, look. I wonder if that's Nick. I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast. That's it. They gotta kill it. Oh no! There's another one out there. I'm not gonna run. I'm gonna stay put. God damn. God damn these <laughs> fucking kids. Son, what? Wait, have they detected us? Ah. Oh no. Ah. <sighs> hey, stop. Stop squirming. Give me the trap. Is she bit, huh? I'm not supposed to know. I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. We're not bit. We're fine. Get the fuck away from me! <laughs> Damn. Okay, oh. run. Go. Oh no. Do we run now? I guess we run now, right? We, we have to, yep. I still don't know if maybe they actually want to harm us or if they're just trying to protect, you know, the counselors and save them from the monsters. Caitlin! That's what I think. Also, Abby! shut the door and lock it, please. Abby! She's all alone. It doesn't feel safe. It's not. Nowhere safe right now. I could see Emma dying now. I don't want her to, but it feels like one of those times, Abby? you know, she's all alone. The monster's out there. Ryan? I would stop shouting as well. Wait, the car doesn't work, right? I thought something was going to be in the back seat then and just grab her. <laughs> but it didn't. So she's in the car. I mean, that's kind of a safe-ish place, I imagine. Because nothing's going to really check the car, I don't think. I killed him. I killed him. Nah, he didn't. He was going to die anyway. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. I'll say you did what you had to. Abby. He was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't... I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Oh. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Um... I'll say, who is it? Who's there? I need your help. Please. I actually trust this woman. Who are you? I, I don't know why, but I just do. I feel like she's going to be a good character. So? Wait, so wasn't Laura from the intro? Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm she was the girl at the start, wasn't she? People. Holy shit, you. Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes. You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. I'm really suspicious now. I'm going to open the door. I want to find out. Okay. 
I'm gonna open the door slowly. Just because we didn't see her die, up, okay? but then I wonder why she'd be working with okay. them. Yeah, look, it's her, but she looks like way older now. That's really weird. We're gonna have to find out in the next episode as well, guys, because that's the end of a chapter, and I've been recording for an hour now. It always leaves again. us with a cliffhanger, this game. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? She doesn't seem very happy now. <laughs> she seems really miserable suddenly. Justice, look. Justice. An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything, and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. Thanks. The moon. The moon. How poignant. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Yeah, I would. I would like to see more. Make your choice. Do we only get to pick one? Hmm. I'm going to go with the moon. I'm interested in that one. Okay. So, oh, this shows how Laura escapes. Ah. Off you go then. So Off she top. probably is someone we can one trust now, then. Isn't that terrible? We're gonna get exciting. to see how she escapes in the next episode. This is exciting, guys. Okay, well that is episode four on the books for uh, the quarry, guys. I hope you've been enjoying this series so far. I've certainly been enjoying playing through this. And yeah, in the next episode, we're gonna find out how Laura Kearney survived how she escaped, how she started working with Chris Hackett and became involved in this whole mystery. Of course, we lost Nick in this episode, but wasn't much we could do there. And Dylan lost his hand, which was uh, pretty savage. But I've been uh, really enjoying this series and I can't wait to see how the game ends. Of course, the great thing about this game is you might watch some other YouTubers play it. They'll get totally different endings. You might buy the game yourself and play through it and get totally different endings. I'm sure I read something that was over 100 different possible outcomes for this game. So it really is something that... I couldn't possibly show you every outcome even if I wanted to. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying the choices I'm making and the path we're forging through this game. If you are, I'll see you on the next episode. And if you've enjoyed this one, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.